So today, something a little different. I am cooking as part of the Green Feast um, and part of the launch of Nigel Slater's uh, winter book. Um, I am doing a cook along on Insta Stories today and I am cooking a lentil dish from here. Now, um, it's lentil tomatoes and sweet potatoes. So, watch this space. Into my cooking clothes because this is too nice for that. Now I've been told, I've been told on good authority that the way of um, uh, peeling uh, ginger is to use a spoon, a teaspoon. So I'm giving this a go for the first time. And you know what, that is so much easier than a peeler, isn't it? That is so much easier. And this is a tip I saw the others who are taking part in the green feast doing. So uh, I'm learning stuff along the way. So I've now got two lovely peeled gingers. I am going to now freeze this because I've learned another tip and that is it's easier to chop once it's frozen. So this is going to go in the freezer and more later. Mary's helping me today, washing her hands in preparation. This is my youngest. Say hello. Hello. Sous chef. Turn on the kettle because we're going to make the stock. You use turmeric because turmeric goes in this stock. You use turmeric in a face mask. Yeah, you can. <laughs> it's one of the ingredients. Doesn't it stain things? Yeah, it can do. So I definitely wear an old t-shirt. Turmeric has been added to the stock. And this is going in the saucepan and the lentils will be cooking in this mix here. Absorbing all that yummy flavour. And the healthy benefits of turmeric. Okay. 250 grams of yellow lentils on to cook now. Pre-washed, I've washed them. So I've given Chloe the lovely task of grinding these cardamom seeds to a powder. That's going to keep her occupied for hours. Yeah, it will. Meanwhile, I am now going to go and um, slice the sweet potatoes. So the recipe requires one onion, peeled and chopped and diced. Chop mine into quarters, my onions into quarters first before then dicing them. Yeah, I'm no expert. I am. I do not have a cooking blog or YouTube for a reason. Do not follow me. I have put the sweet potato on to steam here and now I will grate the uh, ginger and do the garlic. Get that prepared. Now my two pieces of ginger actually are 60 grams which is what I need so let's see, let's see how this grates now. Yeah, pretty well actually, that is good. Freezing it does make it a lot easier. Okay, so in with the uh, crushed cardamom, we are now putting some chilli flakes, half a teaspoon, and it's 12 curry leaves, 12 curry leaves. Now I've never, I didn't even know you could buy curry leaves, you actually use powder, but yes, apparently, yes you can, because Sainsbury's sold it. One, two, three. And I'm adding one and a half teaspoons of cayenne pepper. Cayenne, oh no, I never, cayenne. I'm never quite sure how to pronounce that. It's going to be a very warming recipe with all this ginger, curry, Definitely peppers, chilies. Very warming vegetarian recipe. I'm going to be 
um, doing the onion in a frying pan. These are my favourite pans because they are made with a volcanic lining, which is just wiped clean. You don't need to use soap, and we do, but we don't wash, just wash them, and they just clean really, really easily. I am doing the onion, sweating the onion in fry light rather than the two tablespoons of olive oil. That's the recipe required because John is on Slimming World. Now, so I'm now going to add the garlic, the ginger, and the cumin seeds into the onion. So I'm using a pan, also it's uh, got a volcanic lining, and um, this, the handle comes off and it goes in the oven. So as this dish is going in the oven, this is going to be perfect. So if I've finished, if I've followed the book correctly, I'm now pouring in tomatoes into this mix. And pouring in my onion mix into that as well. Time to get the dish out of the oven now. A bowl of gorgeous yumminess that we're about to eat. This serves four actually, so what I'm going to do is we, we'll eat um, half tonight and then half, maybe try to freeze or eat during the week the other half.